morning. I had to get up a few times last night to make some sale changes. So I've slept in this morning. Excuse me. First thing I thought about when I woke up was like, oh no, the sat phone. <laughs> I had more of a play with the satellite phone last night and this morning. I was looking for a reset button. I pulled it apart. I've pushed all different combinations of buttons on the keypad. Doesn't look like there's going to be anything I can do there. So my only means of communication is the shortwave radio. The other thing is I've got to start sailing a bit faster because I pay more attention. Well, adopt a less conservative attitude to my sailing because the last bit of news I got on the weather was that there was 30 knots but that was going to be Saturday night at 10 p.m. and it was going to be coming from the north. Coming from the north as I said is not too bad and I think that I'd having had a look at the navigation once more I think that I can get in there at night time so that's not too bad however I'd like to beat that 30 those 30 knot winds so I want to get there quicker which means I've just got to throw more sail up and just you know I'm gonna be less comfortable I'm gonna be irritable probably a bit tired but I want to beat that that bad weather get in there and drop anchor somewhere on a beach and just let everyone know that I'm okay as well Well, first we need to realize that this is really happening in science fiction and it's happening quickly. It already has a huge impact on our life today. It will have a huge impact uh, within the next few decades. Um, kids that start school today, it's the first day of, the, of school today. So like say, six year old kids who just start the first grade today, nobody has any idea what to teach them. One thing that I thought I'd tell you is because I've got the AIS, they might be able to track my location. In order to have AIS for this trip, I just plugged in any old number. It's under La Vagabond, so hopefully they panic and go, but remember that I've got AIS and can type it into something somewhere and track my location. And, and obviously, had I have fallen off, uh, the boat would eventually spin out of control and be you know doing circles or sitting still or going KN, KN, KN. To oh. oh I don't want to interrupt, but I don't want to miss a minute. Yeah, good speed, so uh, that's looking good. So it looks like you'll have a nice run into uh, Opua, Robert. Come on, guys. And then northwest, all around 10 to 15 knots, Robert. This is so good, because I can... I'll get these guys in a minute and say, hey, um, can you let everyone know that I'm alive? Apparition, apparition, sailing vessel the Vagabond, copy. Tomorrow possibly, about the same time, eh? Position is 29, 21, south, over. Roger that, that's south. And on 177, 52 east, over. Apparition or Cayenne? Apparition or Cayenne? Come on. Well, they're nearby, so. All right, I'm gonna get out the binoculars and I'm even, I'm gonna find their last position on the video I just took. <laughs> I re-listened to the video and found their position. 
They were just out of range, it seemed. I decided to keep all of the sails up and motor straight to their position in hope of catching them later on on the VHF. Uh, Vagabond, uh, this is apparition. Yeah, copy that. Uh, satellite phone is broken, but we are okay. We are absolutely fine on board. Keith was able to send off an email that afternoon on my behalf letting Elena know that I was safe. The closer I got to him, the better the call was and I also managed to get the latest on the weather. Uh, there was definitely going to be 20 knots uh, before we get there, that's for sure. But it looks like this high has pushed it down into the Tasman on my weather groups anyway, over. All right, excellent. Well, yeah, I'm without weather, so yeah, cool. Thanks for that. Very good news. So I can relax because I don't have to get there in time to beat the low, the 30 knot winds that I was going to get um, in three, four days time because I've received an updated weather report and those winds have dropped by at least 10 knots. So that's, that's the latest that I've got and I don't need to race there to uh, let people know to, that I haven't fallen overboard. Absolutely pumped. I've earned a beer for sure. I'm flabbergasted. Terrible. It's cabbage, spinach, tomato. I've gone vegetarian. I need more experience trying to cook this stuff. Every now and then I stumble across just a ripper. Not this one though. That's nice, it's healthy. It smells like, just smells like some sort of seafood, but it's not, there's no seafood in it. Hey guys. I'm going to do the uh, daily wrap up. We're going to do it outside today because it's very pleasant if a little bit chilly. We have travelled 823 nautical miles. We have got only 360 to go. Bearing 209 at 5 to 6 knots and the wind is 13 knots from the east. So with that 360 uh, I should definitely be able to get that done in uh, three days and it looks like I should well and truly arrive right in the middle of the day which is good. We're going very well time wise and we should have 20 knot winds from the north which will just push us in nice and gently into the Bay of Islands. Just me and the sunset. Still got plenty of these hats for sale guys. They're very nice, fit on your head quite well. Keep the hair out of your eyes. Very practical and stylish. <laughs>